His Royal Highness Sultan Esmail Dalos Kirim II has signed the excommunications of the last two remaining claiming Sultan in parallel to him namely, Muhammad Fahd Karam, Mitsul Lail Tan, Karam Sultan Esmail Dalos Karam II, warned others to consider the weight and gravity of the circumstance, declaring themselves as Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo against the will of the Rahayats. According to the Sultanate, respect the traditions and the support of the Rayats being the legitimate and reigning Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo, the new royal council lauded the decision of Sultan Esmail Dalos Kiram to wed out the pretender to the throne, even though they are Kiram clan also. The royal council was unanimous in support with the decision of the Sultan to weed out the passed on to the succession. Kirims who is creating so much confusion to the hierarchy, the Royal Council added that this is a warning, to those who want to muddle the issue of hierarchy since it is unbroken. From the beginning. According to the Royal Council, there were three distinct consecutive positions that a Sultan has to undergo before he assumed the crown namely, Maharaja Layla, Maharaja Adinda, Raja Muda and the Sultan proper. As per careful investigation none of the claiming Sultan, even the relative has undergone the unbroken the law of succession but Esmail Dalos Karam II. In addition, Sultan Esmail Dalos Karam II has clarified that the group of Abraham Adjarani and Boy Saikon, who claim to be the spokesperson and secretary general, of the Sultanate of Sulu and North Borneo, is an outright misrepresentation using their old and provoked position, during the Saba standoff, under the late Sultan Jamalul Karam III.